56% of Virginians are now fully vaccinated against COVID-19, and those vaccines are highly effective in preventing hospitalizations and deaths. But what about the small percentage of breakthrough cases? Sarah Hammond found out what you need to know if you've gotten your shot, but you were exposed to the virus. On Wednesday, people headed to Maury High School in Norfolk to get vaccinated. Across Hampton Roads, uh, you know, we're getting more and more people vaccinated. The hospitals are prepared. There's not a surge on the hospitals at this point. We definitely want to keep it that way. That's why we're here to get vaccinated. But what happens if you're exposed to or infected with COVID-19 even after you're vaccinated? Betty Rouse, an epidemiologist with the Virginia Beach Department of Public Health, says for the most part, the type of symptoms are the same if you have any at all. The symptoms that people with breakthrough infection are experiencing are way, way milder. So to 10 days of really being sick that people talked about over the summer and are still talking about if they're unvaccinated versus, well, I was sick for a couple of days. As for what to do if you think you've been exposed? Fully vaccinated people do not have to quarantine. We ask that they monitor themselves for symptoms for the same 14 days. That being said, breakthrough cases are still rare. Since January, a little over 10,000 breakthrough cases have been reported in Virginia out of close to 5 million vaccinated people. That's less than 1%. Vaccine efficacy that was proposed for these vaccines was anything from 85 for Pfizer and Moderna up to maybe as high as 90, 92 uh, effective in, in vaccine trials. What we're seeing is, is what was projected that we would see. Again, the vaccines are proven to be highly effective in preventing hospitalizations and death. About 98% of people hospitalized with COVID-19 are unvaccinated. In Norfolk, Sarah Hammond, 13 News Now. Now, if you're vaccinated and you think you've been exposed to COVID-19, the CDC recommends getting a test three to five days after exposure. You should also wear a mask indoors for 14 days or until you get a negative test result.